What up, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, we're gonna take another deep dive and I'm gonna tell you why I think Ty Lawson is this year's free agent sleeper. All right, so in this time of year, NBA scouts and GMs are always looking for that perfect free agent signing. So what I really like doing at Shot Mechanics is evaluating talent and seeing where they can kind of fit in different spots. Now, one thing that I've really, really noticed, especially getting to spend some time around the guys in Sacramento, is that Ty Lawson is an absolute gem. And this is really his kind of redemption comeback. I have inside sources that tell me that he's in phenomenal shape, he's working out a ton, and he's getting a lot better. Now, a lot of people forget that Ty Lawson was a borderline all-star back in his Denver days. And there's no question in my mind that I think he can get back to that same point. Today we're going to jump into the footage and I'm going to break down and show you exactly why I think Ty Lawson is this year's free agent sleeper. But before I get started, do you have somebody who you think is a free agent sleeper? If so, leave in the comment section down below and maybe we'll be able to get to it and break down their game as well. All right, without further ado, let's talk about Ty's game. All right, so the first thing you notice about Ty is he is an absolute tempo master, meaning that he can control the tempo of any basketball game to whatever speed he wants it to be. Now many times this means he gets out fast in transition and he's attacking off of a defense that's not set up yet. And because of that he gets a ton of easy points in the paint and a lot of opportunities for other players as he collapses the defense with the initial attack. Now one hidden gem that a lot of people don't realize about pushing tempo is it creates a ton of defensive mismatches where players have to pick up different players than they want to. Now take a look at this next clip. Ty's going to get the ball and he's going to push it up the court. You can see he's got his eyes up and he's scanning the floor. And this is where Ty plays a lot of chess instead of checkers. He knows the moves before they're going to happen. So even though this is a slower transition, he's setting up the defense. So here he reads that there's one defender back to guard two men. And he knows that he can't necessarily get a lob over the top for the easy layup to begin with. So instead he rifles a pass cross court and makes that back defender make a decision. Does he leave a wide open three? or a layup. So the defender's gotta make a decision and it results in an easy dunk. And that's really what's so interesting about tempo is it's not necessarily going to reflect in the assists or the stats, but a lot of times it's the pass off of the pass that makes for the open shot. And another sweet byproduct of tempo is because of this, he's constantly putting pressure on the D and so he draws a ton of fouls once he gets into the paint. And this is huge because the point guard's an incredibly important position in the NBA. So think about if he's getting guys like Russell Westbrook or Steph Curry in foul trouble early on in the game. So long story short, controlling tempo is incredibly important this day and age in the NBA. And Ty Lawson is absolutely one of the best guys to do it. And again, it doesn't always show up in the stats, but it can make a big difference in the wins and losses. All right, so the next thing I love about Ty Lawson's game is his court vision. As he's pushing tempo like we talked about before, he's constantly got his eyes up and scanning for the right play to make. And because of this, he makes a ton of correct decisions, whether it's throwing the lob on the roll or swinging to the corner or even finding a skip past the opposite side of the floor. His decision making and his ability to shift the defense with his eyes are solid gold when it comes to the offensive end of the floor and is going to make any offense run like clockwork. And because of this court vision and playmaking ability, I've got inside sources that let me know that players love playing with him. He's not a ball and he's one of these guys that players know if they move and get to the right spot, he'll get them the rock on time and on target. So I even noticed this last season when I watched King Games. When he got cooking, the guys on the team kind of fed off of that court vision and that playmaking ability. When he's on the floor, guys run a little bit harder on the break. They cut a little bit harder towards the basket. They move a little bit more on offense. Again, it's something that you can't really put into stats, but makes a huge difference on the team. I mean, this plays a perfect example. He comes off a pick and roll and has a wide open 15 foot jumper, but instead he lets the play develop, gets his teammate involved for a wide open three point shot coming off the pick. And really we see this unselfish attitude over and over and over again once you break down the highlights and the clips. And it's another big reason why I think he can have a huge year in 2017, 2018. All right, next up, we got the fact that he's an absolute paint hunter, meaning that every time he drives to the basket, he's looking to puncture that paint and good things happen. I mean, first off, he shoots about 58% on his drives to the basket, which puts him in the same kind of category as guys like DeMar DeRozan and James Harden as far as efficiency goes. But what I love about a guy that hunts the paint is it's constantly collapsing the defense and creating open opportunities for his teammates. Check out this play as he attacks the basket, he peels out, and he gives the ball to a shooter in the corner. But because of his initial action, it's already got the defense shifting, and the kick out now results in a wide open layup. And you just notice when he attacks the paint, good things happen. And there are very few players in the NBA that are as good at attacking that paint and getting the defense to collapse as Ty. And he is relentless in this attack mode when it comes to getting to the paint. I've watched games where he'll go three, four possessions in a row where he's attacking middle, collapsing everything early, and then good stuff happens. And we've all played against a guy like this, somebody who's strong, 
quick and always looking to try to take you off the dribble. And it's tough because if you're guarding a guy like Ty, you can never take defensive possessions off because you know he's always in that attack mode. So to recap, not only is he efficient once he gets into the paint to score, but he also creates a ton of more opportunities for his teammates, whether it's kick out threes or duck-ins or lobs to the hoop. All right, next, let's talk about his shooting. Now, he's been in a little bit of a slump for the last couple years, but mechanically, he's had a few deficiencies. But earlier in his career, he was a firecracker from the outside, and there's no doubt in my mind that he can get right back there pretty quick. And I got a little bit of inside information that I think is going to make a big difference in his jumper this next season. So don't be surprised if you see his three-point percentage jump dramatically going into the 2017-2018 season. Now, the other thing that I noticed as a shooter is he passes what I call the pump fake test, meaning he gets a ton of pump fakes where he gets defenders to rise out of their stance and he's able to go by them. Now, this is great because it puts a ton of pressure on the defense, but also it tells me that as a shooter, he's respected in the NBA because guys don't want him to have that open look. So although the last couple seasons haven't been on par shooting wise with what I think he's capable of, it doesn't scare me off if I'm a GM or a coach. Because if he's done it before, he's probably going to be able to do it again, especially because I know he's getting a little bit of help. All right, so as you can see, not only do I think Ty's gonna be productive in the NBA still, but I think he actually can still be a starting point guard because if you look at his game, it matches perfectly with the way basketball is going and the direction that it's moving. Um, and really, if you're looking for a point guard to kind of push tempo and kind of match that pace that a lot of teams are looking for, Ty is the perfect example to do that. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, hit that subscribe button so you get all the videos we put out. And we put out new videos every week and they're all gonna help you get better. And the next thing you're gonna do if you're new to Shot Mechanics is click the button down here or the link in the description to get a free copy of my seven day shooting challenge. This is a shooting challenge that's gonna revolutionize the way you train your jumper and you're probably gonna increase your shooting percentage the very first time you use it. That's how powerful it is. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.